When we started out in the platform, our very first criteria for success was leads. Can we generate a significant amount of leads for our partners? We actually had a, a four partner marketing function where we were marketing on their behalf to our prospect base. And then we also had them marketing on their own to their prospect base. And what we ended up finding naturally was that the contacts that the partners had were better received to the partner message than the contacts that we had. And so we found that a lead per send ratio was significantly better in the, the partners' contacts themselves. So we immediately said, let's do more of that. And how can we then get you know, more partners into the system creating and generating their own campaigns? We immediately shifted from that lead mentality to activity. How do we get more, more partners doing social? How do we get more partners using web? How do we get more partners doing email sends? And what's the number of campaigns that each partner was running? Because we knew that would generate the success that we wanted them to have. And then of course, like any good channel sales organization, it's also about bookings and how are we converting those leads in, into bookings? So as we evolved the partner program, so too did the metrics that we use to evaluate partners. But first and foremost, it starts with activity. If they're not in the system, if they're not engaged, if they're not doing the things that we know lead to success, then it's much, much harder to actually get the results that we want. For us, it was shifting that focus back to the partners and giving them reasons to come into the platform and to do the, the tactics that we, that we knew would lead to success. I think the hardest part for any channel manager in a predominantly direct sales team is taking collateral and giving it a voice for the partner. And what we've done is uh, hired a specific individual who that is his only function, is taking direct content and making it partner friendly and providing this blend of our best practices or, or our value proposition and blending it with a partner's value proposition to give each partner a unique message in the market. Now, as we expand, it's gonna be a lot more difficult to do that on a one-to-one -one basis we just can't hire as many people as we need to do that. And so we're actually looking at how we can leverage some of the Zip Creative services to help us do that in the future, because we recognize that's going to be, for us, a roadblock to future success. We just can't scale an individual to do that constantly. And so taking advantage of some of the things that Zift has to offer and helping us with creative services to be able to do that.